Welcome, welcome everybody. This is game number two out of a best of five on Red Bull, the Wololo El Reinado qualifiers, which is a tournament basically on itself. This is losers brackets round two. So the player that loses the set is out of the tournament. And who are the players? Vortex on the color blue as a Zushi's legacy, Louis MT representing Team Elephant on my favorite civilization, the Japanese. The map is the good old Oli Island. And we are ready for some action. Thank you very much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions. A whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And use the links down below to follow me, Vortex and EGCTV live on Twitch as well. And remember, EGCTV is not organizing the tournament, only casting it. So if you have problems with them, leave them alone. It's on Red Bull. All right, let's talk about this matchup. I think Zushi has an advantage over Japan. Japan is still great. Because Japan's advantage comes from Water and Shinobi or Fast Castling. And I think Zushi, they don't need to do anything out of the ordinary. They just go Water, faster dogs, supervision, faster construction on the dogs, cheaper age-ups, and the Gucci, right? I think Japan is the one that needs to do something different, something a bit more risky, something a bit more harder to execute. And I think, like, at least in this... Le last couple games I've been seeing of Japan on water, on like not like Kawasan, it's different, right? But like on Holy Island, on Canal, when I'm casting ranked ladder, right? I really think Japan is falling off a little bit on the water maps. And I just think China, HRE, Zushi, they just have a way better, Rus as well, they just have a way better time. And but the thing is. Japan is not really good on the other maps, right? While well, HRE is perma banned, Rus is banned a lot, and it's good on other maps too. So sometimes players, they just be like, you know, I don't want to use Rus here, I don't want to use HRE here, because I want to use them on the other map. And so let's use Japan here, right? So let's see how it goes. Game number one was already played, guys. Remember to go previously here on the channel to check that video. And also, I'm live on Twitch right now, so click the link down below. Maybe I'm, you can catch me live as I speak. Village for Vortex. Three fishing boats versus three fishing boats as well. So everything in equality. Also, Vortex does not need to mine gold. He can just collect from the lumber camp. Scout with a lot of sheep. Amazing. Coming out. Louis getting a vision at Vortex layout. Takes a hand cannon to the face. That's that that was half of, of the HP. Two hand cannon slots. Two the two hand cannon shots, I mean. Half HP of the scout. Double dock for Louis. Only single dock for Vortex at the moment. Five fishing ships. Five fishing ships as well for Louis. The double dock is in play. Remember that the boats are cheaper for Japan. So they can spam from double dock actually. Right? It does not perturb their economy whatsoever. Coca Township. Here we go. It's Shinobi gaming time. For Louis. Meditation Gardens for Vortex. Still only one dock for Vortex. Meditation Garden is going up there. On the berries. On double gold as well. No wood or stone required. Vortex doesn't want that. Just needs food and gold. Food and gold. Gardens finished. 
Vortex still on the solo dock. Kokotam ship reaching the final stage of the construction as well. Shinobi ready to deploy. Double dock for Louis. Seven, nine fishing ships versus eight from Vortex. Already Louis a little bit ahead on the fishing department, but Vortex makes the junk first. The archer ship makes its way to Louis' dock. Will Louis be able to stop it? Will Louis be able to respond? Louis only queuing now the Springle chip. On the back line, just a scout being annoying. Springle Sheep is ready. Good defense from Louis. Already in queue, a Springle Sheep of his own, and some Zugunu as well. Because he's expecting the Shinobis, right? The Gnus are, are here to play. Vortex coming out to deal with the Zugnu. Thought that was a Shinobi. But it's a scout. Louis building the tower on the gold. Makes the second shinobi. Ozugunu firing down on Louis' villagers. Second shinobi joins the fight. Zugunu dealing good damage, but not enough. They kill one shinobi. Wait, he fights on the water as well. Right. <laughs> Rolu is getting as close as possible. Yeah, so he doesn't miss any shots. Okay, good defense from Louis on the spot. Not making more shinobis here, making a lot of demo ships instead. Shinobi going around, trying to be sneaky, huh? I see that. Delbrod X, not for Louis. No, he he does it, but it doesn't show because it's Japanese, I guess. But he he has maybe it's being researched. No. He has double broad axe. Oh, oh, what we have here? Fight on the water. The boats being carried by each other. That was funny. There we go, another water fight, guys. Are we ready? Demo ships go... Oh, I thought they want to hide. And they'll just be sniped here by the archer ships. Oh, but... The demo ships from Vortex connected. No no boat went down from Louis, but they are damaged. Defense from Louis, but I think he's falling behind though. I feel more momentum from Vortex. I think his economy will scale a little bit better. Right? 
But it's all about having good fights on water and protecting your land. Is going to on that flank? Wait, where is the shinobi from Louis? It's in the base chilling. All right. And nobody close to the castle age. Vortex a bit closer. I think nobody wants to stop investing on the water over here. Vortex and Louis keep they are keep they keep making demo ships. Demo ships really really important on these war fights, right guys? Here we go. Vortex comes back for round three, I guess, on the water fight, leaving the demos behind. Not really. It doesn't. It doesn't need to hide them, right? Demo ships coming in. Louis reacts. There is something going on on the land too. Demo ships got a connection, but nothing else. Ooh, but the demo ships from Louis got a double connection there, and they throw one boat under the sea to meet SpongeBob. Okay, good fight, good fight over here. Nice damage over there. Nice explosions. Louis crawl, clawing his way back a little bit. But I don't think that's enough to claim victory just yet. Vortex killed two villagers or fishing boats. Louis still ahead by one though. Because he, he, he went double dock first. Vortex with uh, three docks, but they work 10 sec... 10, not 10 seconds, 10% 10 faster. So, for an example, a junk takes 25, 25 seconds for Louis, and for Vortex, it takes 23 seconds, right? And it really shows off when you have multiple docks. There you go, another one. Louis is the aggressor this time around. Demo ship comes through and gets a good connection. Archer ships coming from the back to help Vortex out. The demo ships were killed as they were about to make contact with Vortex fleet. Good defense. He pushes Louis back. Louis getting his reinforcements. But he needs to go all the way back to his base. To keep himself alive in the game. What? Wait, what? Somebody aged up? Guys, I missed that. It was Vortex. With Shaolin Monastery. I didn't realize it. What? Alright, Shaolin Monastery. It is for Vortex. Time to grab some relics. Time to get upgrades. There we go. Sprinkle chips gain plus one range and attack 20% faster. That's gonna be a decisive on these fights, but it's not here yet. So Vortex waits a little bit to get his upgrade in. 10 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vortex can fight now, here we go. But the demo ships are a problem in the back. They are lurking, but Vortex has his own demo ships. Now with the upgrades, Vortex has the confidence to keep fighting and keep pushing through. Demo ships from Louis get sniped. There is one more in the back line. Of Louis Fleet. Oh, oh, demo! Oh, it connects. Only takes one ship down. Not a huge problem. Or Vortex with another fleet arrives with three extra demo ships. Vortex is hanging on. Reinforcements arrive from the dock. 
This is Defender's Advantage. All right, mate. Demo ship destroyed. Vortex won the fight. Wins, I mean. And he's ahead in the age up. And in the military on the water. Because he has better military. Do we have any relic collected? Yes, we are. We have. Vortex collect one relic so far. And he's going to... Oh, raiding with knights. Is he supervising the stable? No. Second relic for Vortex. Remember, Zushi is bugged. It doesn't show when you are carrying a relic. Only when you deliver it. Nice. The Springle Chips sniping the demo ships is really, really important. And once again, water fight. Water fight. Oh, nice snipe. What is going on over there? A knight coming through, killing the shinobi, looking for more villager kills. And the, yeah, the knight will get a good amount of kills here. And Vort is also pressing the issue on the water. The knight stopped the racing. Vortex is bringing more boats though to the fight. To la parte. La fiesta. Oh, docking placement for Louis. It will help out a little bit. I think we have armored hull as well. You can see a lot of shields on the boats from Vortex. Demo ships arriving from the back. Oh, I hear more aggression on the land. Let's keep with this water fight. Great snipe of that demo ship over there. Right? Boom. Nice damage as well. I think Vortex has this. He has Louis locked down his own base. Louis is edging up right now. Maybe that would be a saving race. Knight doing more damage. Then economical units lost by Louis. And GG gets called. Great game from Vortex on the water. Zushi comes on top of the Japanese. Louis won. Vortex won. See you on game number three.